I'm Dr. Bob Walton, uh, and I worked at ABS starting in 1962 when I came there as a geneticist, uh, the first geneticist in the industry. I, I was a college professor before that. And uh, so I, I was brought in to redesign the whole genetic program from scratch, really. I am Emily Naminsky and I'm the GMS manager. When GMS first started 50 years ago, the only way we could measure how cows made improvement was, by through, was through production. With GMS, we were able to understand how cows improved with their conformation. So I had developed a form of GMS right from the beginning because I was seeing all these, the, the, I was getting the daughters of the best bulls in the country, wherever they were. And I, and I got the direct the, the top cows in the country from the USDA data, and then I would go check these cows out. And so I began to develop a database in my head about the characteristics of the, of the daughters of each of these bulls. And so I began to use that and how to decide which bull to breed that cow to. And I did that for several years. And then uh, uh, and then gradually we had a couple of other people help me. So we had to begin to find a way to communicate that data with each other. And we, we didn't have it in a computer. We just had to talk and write down things. And so that began the process of how do we share that information. PMS has had a huge impact on ABS as a company. Um, it's used in over 50 countries around the world currently. Um, as we've made changes through the years to make sure that we're adapting to technology and the changes within the industry, um, you know, it just kind of goes to show to our customers that we value those changes and we value them as customers. And looking back, you know, I think one of the questions you had earlier was, what would I change if I could start again? Well, I don't, I wouldn't change a thing. Based on what we knew then, I think we did everything just as well as you could possibly do it. 